Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jakhtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode we're finally reviewing the Stridum Magna Stratocaster sent in by Procraft but before we get into that make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. This has been one pending for a while, I know. Um, when it comes to strats, I like to take my time, okay? It's one of my most played uh, shapes from, you know, all the guitars that I have. Uh, I use it the most live. I've got two uh, strats which I use regularly in all my live events and I will probably never get rid of them. I love them to bits, okay? So I'm pretty picky when it comes down to strats. Um, there are some things I love about them. There are some things I don't love about them, you know? So yeah, let's get into this instrument, okay? Uh, we did the Magna Telly and I gave it a really good review. Upon reflection, after having it for a month or so now, um, the pickups definitely are something I'd like to change on that instrument, okay? However, uh, they work fine. I mean, it's like below 10,000 rupees. So the pickups alone will probably cost me 10,000 rupees, you know? So yeah, keep all these things in mind that, you know, you're getting real value for your money with these instruments, okay? Um, in terms of the Strat, beautiful looking instrument, look at it. Fantastic, loaded with a lot of features. Here's the spec list. Those were the specs, what did you think? 8,900 rupees, you get this, plus you get this. I mean, go check out the unboxing video. I was literally in shock when I saw this. I, I had no idea what comes with this instrument. A cable, not just any cable, a high quality cable, okay? Uh, a bag to keep them in, polishing cloth, a good tuner, picks, Allen wrenches. I mean, they loaded it with stuff and this is not just some like, you know, crappy thin gig bag. This is padded. So, yeah, I would say about 2,500 to 3,000 rupees worth of accessories. So, literally the guitar is like for 5,000 rupees. So, I mean, at that rate, okay, 5,900 rupees has been proper. But anyway, um, the instrument's feature packed. It's loaded with accessories. At that rate, I don't know if you're gonna get anything else on the market, you know, of, with this kind of value, it's too good. The neck is beautifully finished, okay? It's not a raw neck, like some of those Affinity Strats have raw necks, right? This is like a nicely finished, just light, just right, you know, in terms of the lacquer, just how I like it personally. Here's where I'm worried. It's a floating bridge. Tow, tow, tow. Yep, I never float a six screw bridge. So I'm interested to see whether I'm going to love it or hate it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate it and it's probably going to get, you know, whacked out of tune. I'm going to go into the Neural DSP uh, Pliny VST plugin, uh, Clean Crunch, High Gain. Let's get to it. Thank you. 
All right, that was the playthrough. What did you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Here's what I think about this instrument, okay? Uh, to start off with, it stayed in tune. Now, whenever we're doing playthroughs, we have to retune up, you know, every between every uh, clean, crunch, and high gain playthrough, okay? Sometimes a lot more, depending on how much we abuse the whammy bar. And I really went to town with this whammy bar, okay? and stayed in tune. I was quite impressed. This is probably the first Fender style six screw trem where I've really gone at it and it's stayed in tune. I was like, mm, that's well set up. That's pretty good. Didn't have to tune much. Great five-way switch. Ports are fine. The pickups, um, the bridge pickup is nice, not fabulous, okay? The neck and the middle were pretty good. Um, on its own, this is fine in relation to these two. I don't know, I like these two more. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. I just can't get over this, this neck. Rolled fretboard. Wow. That's too good, man. That's too good. And no fret ends. At this price range, this is like high quality workmanship. I really like it. Tuners, absolute trash. This is the weakest point in this guitar. Change these tuners because they're not very responsive, not that great, nuts cut perfectly. I love everything about this instrument except these things and maybe change out the bridge pickup. I'm nitpicking, okay, as if this is like a 50,000 rupee instrument. This is a 8,900 rupee instrument. You get 3,000 bucks worth of accessories. Put everything in perspective. Is there anything else that I've played that's been as good as this? A bullet strat, a fat strat? No chance, no chance. This is, frankly speaking, the best entry level strat that I have come across in all my time, you know, playing guitars. And I'm not just saying this because I know Procraft or because, you know, I'm not getting paid by them for this, okay? Um, I've had many offers for this color also as well, just for your information, in this past one month. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna review it and probably, you know, uh, do something with it in the future. It's now got my interest peaked. Is there anything below 10,000 rupees that matches up to this? Something from Bajao, maybe the Vault series, maybe something from Cadence. I don't know, I've seen them on Amazon. I'm gonna spend some money. I'm gonna buy two of them, shoot it out against this and see whether this is truly the king of the below 10,000 rupees strats. For me right now, it's a thumbs up, it's a thumbs up.